Hello, so Deimos has been out a few days and overall I am really really happy with the whole update. I think that it is very fun, it's very engaging um, and I just wanted to make a positive video about the things that I like about it most and what it does better than the last two. Now if you come to think about it, that we th this is our third one so through each one that we've had um, I mean the moment Fortuna came out or it was announced I knew there would be an infested one eventually because it's the rule of three. We have three different enemy types in the game. Well, four, five, technically, yada, yada, yada. But three main enemy types. And I, I knew the moment Fortuna came out, we'd had a Grenier one. We'd had um, um, a Corpus one. And now we've got the Infested one. And now we're on the third one. I think that they've nailed the open world. I think they are really, really fun, really engaging. And I just wanted to go through a few systems that I really like about this one that aren't so much in the last two. But make this update really really fun and enjoyable the first thing i wanted to talk about was the tokens and the tokens are a really really nice system and they they the, the the main problem when fortuna came out was we were being gated super hard and i don't think d had a decent idea on how to not gate us they obviously didn't want us to play through the whole content in two seconds flat because that's what gamers do we just sit and play games for hours on end i mean we're all guilty of it I am openly admitting that I spend too many hours on my computer playing Warframe. Um, so this token system is genius. It is genius because what it enables us to do is we are still capped by daily standing, but we can still grind the tokens because the tokens give us the standing. We don't just receive raw standing. So it makes doing bounties, doing isolation runs, doing all of the, the fishing, the hunting, all of that stuff. We can stack it up and store it and... The moment the dailies come, we can just spend our our daily uh, daily standing and just keep at it and keep keep grinding and join join the update as free as we can. Um, we're still we're still capped, so to speak, but it's the fact that you can store that standing up and you don't have to spend it all right away. I mean, the first couple of days I, I got a thousand tokens because it's one one hundred, so I got a thousand roughly to get a hundred thousand in total. And you know, I haven't done any kind of bounty since. I've just been doing all these uh, isolation runs and yeah I think that the the tokens are a really really good idea and and it's also the way that they are integrated in amongst all of the, all of the all of the little things that you can do in in Deimos so you know if we was to go to uh, father and we were to buy a weapon um, you know all his stuff's there but also if it's in order to get his parts you know all you got to do is pick up various resources and you can get father tokens and father tokens can translate into standing too so there's more than one way to gain standing and it's super seamless and the whole thing works really fluidly really really nicely another thing i wanted to talk about was the the way that we gather resources now in the old well i say in the old in fortuna and eidolon you know, when you fish, you gain fish. When you mine, you gain minerals and gems and various rare things. And in this update, if you do bounties, there's a chance that you might find a wild animal whilst on the bounty. Or you might find a random fish. I mean, it's it, you can't really do that with Eidolon or Fortuna. Like, if you're doing a bounty, you can't just stop and go fish. But the way the way this works on, on this uh, in Deimos is just so seamless like you know you're doing a bounty all of a sudden your mate has just tranked a dog and now you got a dog and it's it, you know that's cool it's great and it, there's more than one way to actually gain the the um all of the resources you know you're not just grinding one thing then grinding the next you know it's kind of seamless you're, you're you're gaining mostly resources from their specific areas but you're also gaining a little bit on top you know some spare spare gems from opening this little box and there are loads of little things that just make this update really seamless and all the tokens they all fit in nicely you can gain standing doing what which one whatever one you whichever one you like the most whichever one makes makes you happy make you know doing it for fun and i think it's a really really neat system um i also want to talk about the isolation runs now back way back when when we had raids we had eight player raids the isolation runs they they kind of feel the same way and i think they are so fun the isolation runs they're not hard 
at all. It, it's like you get to the end and it's actually really rewarding to see those doors open and you run in and get your loot. It's a very classic raid style mission and it gets, you know, harder by times three and it, it is just really fun. It's Obviously, it's not too terribly difficult, but, you know, they can just ramp up some difficulty, add some more isolation runs. You know, it's only just come out. I'm sure they'll add something new. And it's just really, really fun. The whole the whole system, you know, going down into the uh, into the vault, you know, it's it's very classic raid style stuff. And I th I think this is that's what the game was lacking, and it really just clicks for me. I, it really is fun just to see those doors open at the end, pick up the the loot for the Necromex, and the whole Necromex system is is also really really good. I th I think obviously they're going to add the more more Necromex and. Their parts are a little hard to come by. Uh, I spent most of the day today picking up my Necromech bits and bobs. And it is just... It, they are fun to use. I, I can see that they're, they're, they're also integrated really nicely, being able to use your arc guns. So you've grinded up all your arc guns, and now you get to use them in a more applicable area with your Necromechs. And, you know, it, it. I kind of feel like... Um, what are those things? The, uh, the, the, the Russian dolls. We are a person inside a Warframe inside a necromech i know that's not kind of how it works but it kind of that's how it feels to me like you know we're a shell within a shell and the necromech it's just it's just cool i think i think the using arc wings in that is a really genius idea you know um because obviously arc wing is not a very fan favorite thing i think a lot of people dislike arc wing it's definitely improved since it came out um there's a lot more stuff to it now but now that we can use our arc wings on open worlds, we can use our arc weapons on the Necromex and in normal missions, I think that they have a lot more use and they are more viable. And I think the whole thing is just super seamless. It's a very, very nice update, um, especially after the Railjack um, fiasco. People really did not like Railjack. I stopped playing for a bit um, when Railjack came out, so I didn't really see it in its... Um, bad state i sort of come back to it after it was all done and dusted but it was it was for me it was fine you know i i it was a bit of a grind to get the ship going and then once i got the ship going it was it was working fine um and the update the scarlet spear update um people did not like that either and i think d just needed a win and i think deimos just gave him that win i think deimos is really 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 fun um there's a lot to it i think the map itself is very well i mean personally i don't like the map the look of the map but it, you can see it has charm you know it's it's uh it's not the biggest open world that they've done they're not advertising it as the biggest but it doesn't need to be that big i mean what's the point in making this like four times the size and we've just got the same things to do in a larger area so i think the size of it is completely fine i think for what, what what's inside here um it just really make everything is super seamless and also the obviously the underground caves there are tons and tons to go down and explore and i think that is super super fun i really like the um just being able to dive in and just pick up things you know i'm, I'm hunting in a free room i'm mining in a free room i'm fishing in a free room and i'm not stuck to one thing and it's all really seamless and the the actual look of the uh, the worms, I think the day and night cycle thing is genius. I, re I really enjoy that and picking up our fishing bait from them. You know, it's not a grind to like pick up fishing bait. You know, every every you know hour or so, one of these worms will die, and you know we'll just go and pick up their their fishing bait and and other obviously the other resources and stuff. And everything's super seamless. Like you know, isolation runs can give you fish fish parts, mining parts. Um, for the first three days, I didn't do any mining, and I didn't need to because I was doing isolation runs and bounties, and I was just picking up random bits of resources here and there, and the whole thing was super seamless, and it's only until now that I've actually started to get specific things I needed for my Necromech, and it is just really, really, really good. Uh, Sidetrack note here, if you find that it is so glowy, everything is so, so glowy, um, I would go into options and display and I would turn bloom off straight away um, Just turn it straight off because bloom makes things too glowy and you cannot see what you're doing That's the only negative I can really think of about uh, Deimos is th There's so much going on on my screen that sometimes I can I can find it hard to make out what's actually going on but besides that I think the whole update is just 
just great. It is really, really good. It is definite, you know, third time to charm for their uh, open worlds. I think they're really, really interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do next. But yeah, I think that's all. If you had any other opinions, if you think Dynamos was terrible and you are really upset at DE, please just let let me know in the comments. You know, um, this is obviously just my opinion, but I think overall this 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 update has been a huge success, and I can't wait to see what they add more to this to this update. Obviously, I'm not even finished. The helmet system is I've only just unlocked it. I've only just unlocked my Necromech, but from what I can see, this this whole update is just absolutely spot on. So I thank you for watching. Also, I've never mentioned this before, but I do stream on Twitch. And if you are interested, I stream a bunch of different games, not just Warframe. And if you'd like to see any of that, I would be greatly appreciated to see you in my stream. So I thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Peace.